We're no stranger to air quality alerts. We've learned the dangers associated with wildfire smoke, but I wanted to dig a little deeper on what's happening to our lungs, our respiratory system when we breathe in that toxic air. Let's start with the symptoms. So if you spend time outside through Saturday breathing in the unhealthy air, you might notice some coughing, some phlegm, wheezing, difficulty breathing. Those in turn lead to concerns of bronchitis, reduced lung function, your asthma could worsen, lung diseases could be aggravated. My question though is, how are the smoke particles causing those problems? I talked with Dr. Dorothy Corinne, a pediatric pulmonologist with Hennepin Healthcare. She said it comes down to the size of the smoke particles and where they can reach. What happens with some of these ultra fine particles that we're seeing in wildfire smoke, so those are down to 0.1 microns. So that, that's on the order of 500 times smaller than even a, a single human hair. And what happens is these particles, they go down our respiratory tract um, and then down deep into the base of our lungs. The smoke particles irritate our airways that are behind our nose, in our throat, causing swelling, leading to coughing and trouble breathing. And the area in our lungs the particles reach are only meant for oxygen. They then loosen up the cells that act as a barrier in the base of our lungs, allowing the particles to then enter our bloodstream. So what can you do to protect yourself? Same thing we always say, limit outdoor activities like exercise or yard work. You'll breathe harder and deeper during those activities, making you inhale more of those particles. Keep your indoor air clean by closing windows. And if you're using air conditioning, see if you can set it to recirculate the air, similar to your vehicle. And if you must be outside, you can wear a mask, but make sure it's an N95 or higher since those are better suited to stop those ultra tiny particles.